Well, good morning, and thank you to all of our experts who have taken the time to join me this morning. I really do appreciate it. Today, as you all know, we're going to hear from Dr. Ford. She is a woman who is bravely uh, sharing her experience with the United States Senate and the American people of being sexually assaulted by a nominee for the highest court in the land. So first and foremost, I sincerely hope Dr. Ford is treated with respect, is allowed to be heard, and is actually listened to. And I hope that Judge Kavanaugh is also treated respectfully, but it is called upon to truly confront the accusations directly, to answer questions about what he's done clearly and truthfully, and to explain all inconsistencies in the stories without evasion. We know this is not easy for any sexual assault survivor, and it has not been easy for Dr. Ford. Survivors are too often attacked and shamed, disbelieved, and ignored. And sadly, that is exactly what we have seen so far. President Trump and Senate Republicans have been out saying that Dr. Ford is making it up, that if it were true, she would have reported it when she was 15, that she was, quote, mixed up, that this was a, quote, drive-by shooting of Judge Kavanaugh, and more and worse. It is absolutely wrong. It needs to end. It is clear Senate Republicans realize how bad their all-male side of the committee would look attacking a sexual assault survivor, so they have hired a lawyer that Leader McConnell called their, quote, female assistant, to ask questions and do their jobs for them. This is absurd. Absurd. They should be able to do what they were elected to do. But it's also, it's not enough. And I want to be very clear here, and this is important since some Republicans are already trying to kick up mud and create distractions in order to make Dr. Ford seem less credible. Here is the bottom line. We have three women, Dr. Ford, Ms. Ramirez, and Ms. Swetnick, who have bravely come forward publicly with their own names to share their experiences with Judge Kavanaugh and sexual assault opening themselves up to scrutiny and attack. Women who have said they are willing to come testify under oath. Women who have brought forward lists of relevant witnesses who should be brought in as well. Women who are asking for full investigations, who are asking the United States Senate to do its job. But in order for that to happen, these allegations from the women who have come forward need to be investigated. We need to hear from all relevant witnesses, and we need all of the information to come out. That's the bottom line here. Whatever those Republicans who just want to jam Judge Kavanaugh through try to say. So today is important, but it is not the end of the story. Republican leaders should slow down. They should stop trying to distract and confuse people by pointing to process or anything else from the allegations made, made by the women who have bravely come forward. She, they should end this mad dash to confirm Judge Kavanaugh, and they should focus on getting this right. Because at its core, our job in the Senate is to make a decision about whether or not Judge Kavanaugh should be promoted to the highest court in the land making decisions about the lives, the freedoms, and the rights of women, men, and families. In 1991, I and millions of women across the country watched as Anita Hill was interrogated and attacked, and the Senate failed this crucial test. 27 years later, in 2018, we need to uh, do better, and we certainly should not do worse. <laughs> 